Hello. Got a new microphone here. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Okay, let's get started here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your computer's performance run faster if you've tried everything in the world you can think of and nothing works. Like you downloaded these programs off the internet to uh, clean your registry, you ran virus scans, you defragrinated your hard drive, uh, ran disk cleanup, you name it, you did it, and it still won't go faster. Well, today, I'm going to try my best to help you out, and hopefully this works. I wish you the best of luck with this one. Got to move that window. All right. First of all, what you want to do first is we've got to find out what's slowing down your computer. First, push Control, Alternate, Delete on your computer. A window will show up. It'll say lock this computer, switch user, log off, change password, or start task manager. What you want to do is click on start task manager. And then after that, as you see, this window should show up. On Windows XP, it might automatically open up. I'm not exactly sure. It's been a long time since I ran Windows XP. But anyway, um, what you want to do is look at this blue bar right here. If this blue bar is past the middle, then that means you're low on RAM. RAM is random access memory. It's like your computer's temporary memory. Like when you're on the internet, the computer has to be remembering what you're doing for it to be there, and it's just an example of what RAM is. Let's say if you have like two gigabytes of RAM, then you should not have all this stuff right here running, or uh, too much RAM is being used. What you want to do? is click right here on Resource Monitor. On Windows Vista and Windows 7, you will have this feature. If you're running Windows XP or Windows 2000, 98, 95, uh, Millennium, whatever, then you won't have this right here. What you got to do is click on Start button, right? Then after that, click Run. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will not have the Run Command standard. I made another video a couple days ago teaching you how to add the run command on Windows Vista and Windows 7 if you wanted to. But anyway, click on run. This is for Windows XP and before. And then you type in perfmon. P-E-R-F-M-O-N dot E-X-E. And then you hit enter. Or click OK. And then this window will show up. Click on open resource monitor. And then you get this again. Windows Vista doesn't have these options up here. This just makes it easier to read. But it has these down here. It gives you all the information you need to know. But it's just a little more difficult to read. So anyway, look at this chart for a couple seconds. And um, look around. See what's if your CPU usage is like maxed out. Or if your uh, hard drive is working. Like if it says um, 100% highest activity time then that means something in your hard drive is um, yeah there's some stuff that shouldn't be running like your page files overloaded or whatever but most of the time if your hard drive is working at a hundred percent over here I'm gonna put the uh, mouse is then that means you're most likely out of RAM like as you see I'm, I have eight gigabytes of RAM and it's already between 18 and 19 percent used up already so um, what you want to do is click on here. Now, if you only have like a gigabyte or two of RAM, you should not have all this stuff running. Yeah. Anyway, so what you want to do is look at, um, hold on, let me uh, resize this real quick. What you want to do is look at all the programs here and look at the Comet Kilobyte. KB is what Kilobyte stands for. And um, anyway... This says 181,172 kilobytes. That's basically 181 megabytes because 1,024 kilobytes is one megabyte. So just look at this number on the side here in the hundred thousands or in the thousands. Let's say it says 282,000 kilobytes. And that means it's taking up 282 megabytes. Which, unless you're running a program like um, Internet or something like that, there should never be anything in the background that's taking up 282 megabytes unless you are um, running a program or uh, unless you have SVC host that's really the only thing that should be taking up 182 megabytes like that needs to be running because if you end this then that means you're basically going to end half your computer because that runs Windows Explorer and Windows Explorer runs the uh, window manager you know it's just like the base of anything everything but anyway let's say 
You notice something that's taken up, um... Okay, Internet Explorer, that's taken up 170 megabytes. Right here. Hold on, am I doing anything important? Oh, yeah. Um, I made a video before this, but I'm gonna make this one a little easier to understand, so... As you see, this has taken up 170 megabytes. So what you want to do is you want to click on Task Manager again, and if you close it, push Control, Alternate, Delete, and start it again. Then you want to find Internet Explorer in um, the box here somewhere. Or you can just scroll over here and look for it there. And Internet Explorer right here. Just the process has only taken up 102 megabytes, but the whole entire tree is like everything that's linked to it is taken up 170 megabytes. That's why it's better to look at this whenever you want to um, find out what's taken up the most memory because it shows you the whole entire thing. Now, if you just want to end the process, just right click and hit end process. But if you want to end everything, which whenever you see something on the task manager, if it says it's 102, 103 megabytes, it's most likely more than that. So then you want to hit end process tree and it'll end everything that has to do with Internet Explorer. But never go around and just start ending random things that you don't know. You have to look over here in the description and see what it is. If there's no description or it's... um something to do with the system don't end it because then you could like crash your computer not a good idea but as you see Yahoo Messenger is taking up 68 megabytes on here you go in here and it's taking up hold on let me find the application I don't know but anyway um, another way let's say every time you start up your computer the same programs keep running and you get tired of ending them. This is what you do. You click on your start button and click on run. If you don't have the run command, type in msconfig in the search box. And then click on the application right here. This little window is going to come up. You can't see it. But anyway, this window is going to come up here. Now, if you're running Windows XP or before, you probably won't have this search box. I don't know if it or is or not. So then you click on Run, and then just type in msconfig.exe. If you're typing in the Run command, you have to type in exe or else it won't work. And then you hit Enter or OK. And then this comes up right here. Now you can go into your startup programs right here everything that starts up and it gives you a description I think uh, no it just tells you the manufacturer but that's basically enough information but as you see there's programs here um, yeah Yahoo Messenger is not on my startup list I want that to be because I have enough RAM and you know I don't really worry about that, but uh, a lot of times if you're out of RAM, that'll really slow down your computer because then it's putting all the work on your hard drive, and the hard drive is not even a tenth of as fast as your RAM is. So, Anyway, um, if you see a program that you saw in your task manager or in a performance monitor on here, uncheck it, hit apply, and it's going to ask you if you want to restart now or restart later right here. If you want to restart your computer, then just click restart. That's up to you. But anyway, um, that right there is just some ideas of how to make your computer faster. And um, another way is to hit all programs, go to accessories. This is, this is also with XP. And um, click on system tools, and then go to disk defragmenter. This is a very important step in keeping your computer running fast if it's already you got to um, defragment your system. If you're running Windows Vista, it's going to look different than this. It's really not much to it on Windows Vista, but it works the same way. But anyway, I hope that I um, taught you something. I hope that your computer can run faster now. And um, I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope that I explained myself in a way that you can understand. If you have any ideas for me, just leave me a comment or send me a message, all right? If you have anything you want to know or if you're curious or questions, whatever you whatever you want, you name it, leave a comment or send me a message, all right? Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. See you later.